I've been told that I'm an old soul pretty much my whole life. I play in a bocce league with like, you know, 70 year old Italian guys. All right, you're up. I like listening to old jazz. And I make shoes. Benjamin Schwartz makes shoes to order by hand one pair at a time. We really specialize in more high-end casual, so something that you could wear every day. The idea is we spend a lot of money on our dress shoes and then we go out in flip-flops. And So the quality isn't really the same in our everyday shoes. I feel like shoes are something that you notice when you uh, talk to somebody or when you first meet somebody. And I think shoes are one of those things that you can't get away with easily. If you get the $20 pair of shoes, people know. Customers choose the style, color, and materials of their shoes. They can also see firsthand every step of the shoemaking process at the shop. That's really cool. Yeah. While there, you will most likely be greeted by Benjamin's dog, Jackson. At a whopping five pounds, he can be really intimidating. And you can meet Benjamin's business partner, Samuel Parkinson, who will be working away at the shoes alongside Benjamin. My role at Benjamin's is I'm head of design and pattern maker. I consider my hands Swiss Army knives, scissors, needles, knives, corkscrews, whatever you want, I, I can do it with my hands. Benjamin and I make such a good team just because we both have our very specific skills and talents. I'm very casual. Um, I'm more streetwear style. Benjamin is more kind of classic menswear style. So we come together and, and make something in between that kind of perfectly. It's a beautiful marriage. Shoemaking is a far cry from Benjamin's previous career as a state worker. And for me, I think just the idea of sitting at a desk for 30 years was just I don't know, it was scary to me. And so I, I'd also always wanted to run my own business and there was this opportunity there and I thought if I don't do it now and take the risk now, then I, I'm probably not going to later. He had a yearning to get back to his creative roots. Growing up, I'd always done a lot of drawing and I studied film in school and then did photography. So how did his journey lead to shoes? I think it was kind of this combination of being interested in style and then also trying to find a creative outlet. While Benjamin was working at the state, he began teaching himself shoemaking on the side. I did some research and I found a textbook about shoemaking. And then I talked to a couple of shoe repairmen in town and asked them about shoemaking and I think they thought I was nuts. They were like, shoemaking is totally different from repairing shoes, but you know, like good luck. Before long, he learned the ways of shoemaking and discovered his own style of shoe. In September 2014, he launched a website and started selling his shoes online. A year later, he felt it was time to take the leap of faith. I left, I cashed out my pension, I sold my car. It was pretty terrifying, to be honest, but I think it was also, it was exciting. He opened a shop in May 2015. We immediately got some really great press, which was great. And we had a huge amount of people walking in and ordering shoes. Did you see the sign? Okay, cool, yeah. And so pretty early on, we became a little concerned about <laughs> just keeping up with demand. You know, our waiting list grew to about a year, but we have been slowly catching up over the last couple of years. Now, if somebody orders a pair of shoes today, we sell them four months. For Benjamin, it's much more about quality than quantity and it seems like customers are completely fine with that. On the whole, people have been very understanding, very supportive, willing to wait. Now that we've been here a while, we're starting to run into people around town wearing our shoes, which is crazy, you know, it's like, I made those. The other thing too is like, we have customers that run into other, other customers at events and stuff, and they're like, Benjamin's? I'm like, oh yeah, so I, I, I recognize them. Like, that's cool, that means we're doing something, right? Being a shoemaker has turned out to be a good fit for this old soul. Yeah.